Hey everyone, it's John here from Atakaki back with another video. I just want to record a quick video on Steven Stamkos, new leaf lines, Nylander is center again, and just different stuff coming out on the first day of media availability leading into training camp. So just quickly on the Steven Stamkos note, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, from Steven's uh, public statement to the GM's conversation, Brisbois, this is interesting. I mean, Steven Stamkos, I thought out of anyone on Tampa, he's the most for sure thing to stick with the Lightning and retire a Tampa Bay Lightning. But these quotes coming out, Steven Stamkos is very disappointed. He's saying it publicly that they didn't talk about an extension over the summer. And he is one year removed from UFA status. So next summer, if it doesn't get resolved, he'll be a UFA. He'll be a free agent in the open market. I think a lot of teams would pay big dollar for Stamkos, especially with the cap going up. I could see a lot of contenders paying seven, eight million, especially with guys coming off the books. So if the Lightning are not willing to pay that at the very least, Stamkos could go somewhere else. Uh, Brisbois talks about that they need to spend their cap wisely, that of course his common goal is to keep Steven in Tampa and for Tampa to be a cup contender and win a cup again, but they've got to spend their cap wisely. So it doesn't, he's basically insinuating that he wants Stamkos back, but if it's not the right price, maybe they reconsider. So that is crazy. That's crazy that these are the statements that are coming out publicly from the GM and your face of the franchise player going into the season. So that's crazy. Uh, I mean, I don't want to speculate, uh, but I would say right off the bat that teams like Colorado, Boston, like teams, I'm just thinking out loud that they would pay big money to get Stammer on those teams. So if Tampa's not willing to do so, we could have a lot of drama. But you know what? If I had to make a prediction today, I think they figure it out and meet some middle ground. I'm sure Stammer's going to want 9, 10 plus million. I'm sure Tampa's going to want it to be under 5. I'm sure they come to a resolution. But we'll see. I mean, this could become a developing story, especially because Stamkos is saying this so publicly. There's got to be more to this, but we'll see. On the Nylander up the middle, I mean, I'm just talking about a Toronto boy in Stamkos. He didn't want to come to Toronto once upon a time, so I don't think that's happening. But... At the least for needing a center, you know. <laughs> but Nylander, this is crazy. I don't think Nylander's worked as a center in the past, especially at the NHL level, not being able to mark on certain defensive responsibilities. But you know what? I think when you look at a guy like Nylander, especially with his speed and his longevity that I think he'll have in his career, I think he could be a center in this league if he has the right support around him. So I'll just make some lines here off the top. If you were to run with, let's say, Matthews with... Bertuzzi and Yarncrow, or Bertuzzi and Robertson that I've talked about. For Just for this argument's sake, we'll say the fellow American Robertson gets a shot playing with Matthews and Bertuzzi. So that's your first line. Give Robertson a chance to succeed. Your second line, Tavares at the center spot with Tavares... Oh, sorry, Tavares at the center spot with Marner and Nyes. That's your second line. Then third line, you could run Nylander, Domi, and Yarncrow. Have Yarncrow and Nylander, the fellow Swedes together and then have Domi with them. As an example, you could also maybe switch Nyes to have some size with Nylander and then have Domi, Tavares, and Marner together as the London Knights line. Again, I'm just speculating out loud here, but that's pretty crazy that this could be a scenario where Nylander's at the center spot and it looks like they're going to try it out in training camp. So give me your thoughts, guys, on this development with the Lightning and Stamkos in training camp, as well as the Leafs' new lines, Nylander as the center, and a lot of other news coming out, so I'll make a bunch of videos. So subscribe, like, comment, notification bell. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.